Hey, what is up guys? Colossnex here, and today I'm here to tell you that every rep counts. Now, I know that that's some pretty obvious advice. Most of you guys know that. It's kind of a no-brainer, like, obviously every rep counts. That's why we count. You don't want to accidentally miss one. Well, they're more important than you think. It can be really easy just to quit as soon as you feel like you can't go any further, or it's easy to think, you know, on your last set, it's good enough to just stop at nine because you can't squeeze that last one out. That last rep is probably the most important rep of the entire exercise. In fact, your last two sets have worked up to that last rep. This is the way that I like to think about it. It helps me remember, and it's an easy way to make sure that you're always working in the right zone. So the way I understand it is that you've got your working reps, and you've got your growth reps. So the most common rep range to use during exercise is from one to 10, right? Of course, there's different variations depending on what your goals are, but from one to 10 is pretty much the standard rep range. So from numbers one to five, those are like your working reps, okay? There's, those are the ones that are probably the easier reps in the set. You start off feeling really good, one and two feel kind of easy, three and four, you know, you're kind of, you're in the work zone, like you're not really feeling it, you're just putting in the work. And then after you get past rep five, you get more into where I call them the growth reps, the growth zone. So from six to seven, it's gonna start to feel harder. Eight and nine are gonna be tough, and 10 is gonna be the hardest one. So you could argue that the first five reps, while they feel easy, they feel like they don't count. Well, they really do count, and they really do matter, because those first five or six get you to the last seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You know, they're the bridge between where you are now to where you wanna be, right? Because you're always striving to make the 10 feel easy because then you can move up and wait or you can add some reps on to the end. So when I say every rep matters, I mean that in the most literal way possible. Rep number one matters. They're all super important. So you can't give up at any point. You can't skip any reps. You can't break the rules because your own logic in your head sounds really good at the time of you holding a dumbbell that's starting to feel very heavy. Every rep counts. That being said, and depending on what your training goals are, if you get to 10 and you can feel like you can squeeze out another two, then you should do it by all means. Those are an extra two growth reps. But if you get to eight and you quit at nine, you quit at 10. Those are the growth reps you're missing out on. Why am I calling them growth reps? Because they're the hardest reps. They're the reps that your body has to work the hardest to fight through. Those are the ones that are gonna tear your muscles. So those are the most important ones to not skip. So I'm not saying don't give up as like some kind of garbage motivational speaking. I mean, literally don't give up. Your body's gonna need those growth reps. And the last thing I wanna say about this is that those first few that feel easy, focus just as hard on those ones as you do on the last ones. Because if every rep matters, then every rep requires your attention. It can be really easy to like, you know, okay, seven, eight, nine, those are the ones I'm gonna have to try really hard for. It just kinda, you know, just kinda going through the motions, you're kinda bored, you're waiting for rep seven before you actually start trying. No, first rep, focus, second rep, focus, third rep, focus. Make every rep as clean as possible. That being said, I challenge you to make your seven rep feel clean, your eight rep, the ones that feel hard, make sure those are clean. So focus on every one, even the easy ones, even the hard ones, it all matters when it comes down to your form, right? If you're not paying attention to the first five, then maybe the majority of the reps that you do in the gym are, you know, the form isn't good because you're not paying attention because you're only gonna try for rep eight, nine, 10. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope I really drove in the point home that every rep matters, every rep counts. Thanks for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Claw next out.